Welcome to New Fira Stadium, home of the Snuffalo Thrills. The city's tourism slogan, shuffle off to Snuffalo and die. It's very appropriate as the Thrills fans are eager to see their opponents buried today. Very popular honeymoon spot pilgrim. When the honeymoon's over, do what those people do. Jump off the floors with the old ball and chain. Hey, anybody see my good smokes? Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Snuffle Thrills. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football, at least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said, how, not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Interception! Watch that, Grim! A fabulous interception! Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks! Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks! You're an idiot! First and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. down and well good luck well that was a good throw yeah if he was aiming for the ground no they couldn't pick up a first down so now they have to punt and he got it off that's a decent punt He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. First and ten. He, oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, and the needle for a first down. First and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. 
Mutant Bingo! All I need is 77 to bite it! And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and long. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. let that one drop and played safe and the defense says we'll take it and it's first and ten Pow! and how about a little dirt set oh, come on that was a cheap shot <laughs> that's why I love this guy and so do the fans And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he's running with another pick. The QB says, I don't know if throw interceptions, but when I do, oh, nice hit. You got to be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Brent, I just dash. On it. And that'll bring up third down, and it's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but... Can we... Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. <laughs> and 
and it's first and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. Which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Mm. First down and three. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Second down and six. But the SWAT team is out in full force at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the linemen. Third down and six. But he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. The punter was killed, so now they'll need to find another player on the bench to punt from here on out. Yeah, who gives a crap about punters? Punters, moms, wives, kids? Uh, but that's about it. And it's first and ten. once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Uh, I forgot my point. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. meets the explodable object. You can't keep a good mutant down. He's leaving a 
wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. You need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's a defense schmuck. Second down and ten. All week, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Third down and ten. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. He's running out of gas now. He's at the 20. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Now still working on... Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. is getting kills. Ah, oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. And the defense just called the giant. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and first down. He was not going to drop that with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Don't you just 
just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Man, not a ball's feelings are hurt. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. Third down and six. Hot, hot one, three. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. And here comes the extra point attempt. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> Pow! With the brain scrambler! Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. Uh, uh, <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome! I hope they have raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I had the quarterback threaten to throw him. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Ouch. What is it, baby? Wrestling? Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first. They've got one. Left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. Two, and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> The Sniffle Thrills get their butts whipped and lose by forfeit. The thrill is gone, Grim. The thrill is gone. It's so much your brain. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...